Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I have in the car with me my friend Jonathan, a fine okay. Swedish man, and we're heading down just about an hour or so south from where I live to look for the reasonably newly described Kuiburi Pit Viper, which I think I may have shown on the channel once before, um, but this video will be a lot better. Uh, it is extremely rainy these past few days after a very long and severe drought, so that should get vipers moving and who knows, we'll probably see a bunch of other stuff as well as usual. So yeah, heading down there now and hopefully we'll find some stuff. But first, what would any herping trip be without a stop at the herper's all-time favorite store, 7-Eleven. You guys ever come to Thailand? This sandwich right here, they make it for you. This is the Herping Fuel 1000. Highly recommended. I've actually been to this spot like a million times before. Don't really ever film there for some reason, but today we're going early. Usually we go in the nighttime, uh, but we're going a bit earlier because we want to hike in way deeper than I've ever been to get to some areas with even better habitat, which in theory should have more snakes, but that's yet to be seen. Right, it is a million degrees, but we are in the forest. Just started walking and we've got about a, I don't know, probably two or three hour hike ahead of us, which I don't even know at this point if we're going to make it before it gets dark, but we're going to go as far as we can get and have dinner in the forest and then once it's dark start searching. You can see the habitat's already looking pretty decent but I have hopes that it'll get a whole lot better based on the GPS data I was looking at. All right we've made pretty good progress we just uh sat down and had some drinks climbing up this hill you can see well you can't really see but we just climbed up some massive hill and we're trying to get over it uh, because on the other side there is a valley which is where I'm planning to go. I'd say we've got about an hour or so till dark, maybe less. Um, so yeah, gonna try make it there. All right, just got dark after an extremely long and tedious hike. But sure enough, not even 20 minutes after nightfall, we have ourselves the first of our target species, the Kuiburi Pit Viper, a lovely adult male. Not the most great and vibrant one, and he's also looking a little skinny to be honest, but you can see him just sitting in there. He's got some like slight bluish color to him, at least on camera. In real life, that's not as pronounced, but you can see he's a male by how long his tail is, that brown section right there. And then also, if you look at the eye, you can see that distinctive white marking beneath the eye, which is also, in most Trimorosaurus species, indicative of a male. Now, these guys are venomous, although there are no recorded bites yet from the species, as it was only recently discovered. So it's not exactly known how dangerous they are, but it's assumed that they're not going to be too bad, pretty much in line with all of your other karstic vipers. All right, we're going to try and get them out. I've just had to sit down for a moment, catching my breath. As you can see, my clothes and hair are soaked from sweat. Now, let me see if I can grab myself a little stick here. These guys are generally not too bitey as far as vipers go, um, but some individuals have been quite snappy with me in the past. So if you come in from this side here, we're going to just gently let him know that we're there. Probably, oh. Yeah, wow. Very, very skinny male. But that's no surprise. We just have had a very severe dry season. All right, have a look here. He was... Okay, that answers that. He is... A bitey fellow, so we're gonna be careful. But he does have some reasonably nice blues, but could just be because he's nearing shed. Males of, sorry, I just thought he was about to strike at my finger there. Males of this species generally are a more bluish shade of green, whereas females are just like either a dark leafy green or a yellowish green. Uh, can we see if we can gently? He's look. He's actually a very beautiful individual. He's just severely underfed and skinny and possibly nearing shed as well which when snakes are in poor health they shed much more frequently than they do otherwise and I assume that that's the case with this one here but yeah as mentioned he does seem to be quite bitey so we're just gonna let him go and keep searching maybe we can find a slightly better example of the species awesome all right let's go Jonathan just spotted another one not even 10 minutes later and would you look at this Look how tiny this one is. This must be literally probably about a week or so old, newly, newly born, and probably a tad smaller than the smallest I'd seen previously till now. 
Uh, these are a live bearing species, so they give litters with multiple juveniles, so they're could very well be more in the direct vicinity here, as well as mama somewhere, because these snakes, they don't really move too far. But you yeah, have a look at this teeny tiny little viper. Do you think it's a yearling? No, I think this is, I just said, I think this is like a weakling. Oh, sh sorry. <laughs> no, 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 at a year they'd be much bigger than this already. I mean, look how tiny that is. Absolutely minuscule. Do you want to try pick it up? Yeah. Become the first person to ever be bitten by one. Someone has to be the first. <laughs> you may want to get like a little twig or something yeah. to help you. <laughs> He's gonna bite you. You think? Nah, probably not if you're, if you're, <laughs> if you're gentle, guess. but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna f*** with it. A million views if you get bit. It's absolutely adorable. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna... Oop. Oh, look at that tail rattling. A lot of vipers, not only rattlesnakes, will actually rattle their tail when they're feeling threatened. Except that with these, it doesn't really make as much of a noise. <laughs> it's one a bite, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, maybe best not put your hand near that one. <laughs> right, uh, Jonathan is still literally just a few steps behind me playing with that little neonate we just saw and look what I just spotted up there. It's not very easy to spot if you don't know exactly what you're looking for but if you look in right there you can see in the center of the frame that little head popping up above the rock ledge there and sure enough another Kuguri pit viper. This is insane we've only been herping I mean it's only been dark for like 30 minutes and we've already gotten three which is Definitely the best start we've ever been off to, but to be fair, we're also in a much better area than I've ever been searching for these, so let's hope that continues. Videoception, link to Jonathan's YouTube channel down below. Be <laughs> warned though, this will be a very similar video. Anyway, he's come over now. I'm not going to point it out, and you can try and find it. All right, I get your... <laughs> Why is this happening? Why can't I see it? I'm supposed to be a good herper. That's what she said. <laughs> no, she said I had herpes. Alright, I'm gonna just point it out. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Right, the god boss is about to do his thing. Yeah. Climb and catch snakes. That's what I'm famous for. Somebody cut. definitely a female, at least I think. Generally you can, I can always tell at a glance by the rough color shade, because the males generally just are a different shade of green. But actually, wait, that might be a male. <laughs> right. Definitely a lot bigger than the first one. And it doesn't seem to be very bitey either. Uh, surely that's a female, right? Yeah. At that size, surely it must be. I've never seen. I don't think the I've ever seen a male that big. Males usually have more white. They have like a more scrawny head as well. I think this is just a postpartum female. Very possibly the mother of that juvenile we just saw. Super neat. All right, put her down here. Let's see if I can. Uh, I don't feel confident. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot more of these tonight, though. Beauty. Nice. Very nice. Oh, there's another wasp on me. Really? Yeah. Seems chill. Yeah. I mean, most of them are. Can I have a play? Yeah. Just put her down. I don't trust hand-to-hand transfers that much. Yeah, yeah, same. And there we have it, guys. A lovely, I'm pretty sure, adult female postpartum. Very possibly the mother of that juvenile we just saw, because it is only a few steps away. Not the most vibrant individual, though. Some examples are much nicer, but definitely good size on her. Sweet. Let's just leave her here and keep going.
All right, a long walk later, just got another Viper. It's been about, probably about an hour since the last one. Looks like a, not actually certain with this one. The head is very small, possibly a male, but also the head is very small. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this one is a male. Anyway, just gonna leave him here and keep searching. All right, two minutes after that last viper. Uh, uh, vine snake, what? On the move. Oh yeah, there's a vine snake rapidly fleeing in the tree there. And I just found another little quibbery pit viper down here. Uh, uh, female by the looks of things? I can hear Jonathan getting bit by the vine snake. Okay. Nice, I'm just gonna leave this one in situ though. So I'm getting envenomated. Am I gonna die? Yeah, nice. Here's the vine snake that Jonathan got. Very, very white on the uh, skin between the scales now that it's doing that threat display. Nice little oriental vine snake. Uh, not too common in this area, although it is one of the very few species of snakes that I do routinely encounter here, so definitely rarer than the vipers, though. And actually, a very pretty individual for the species. Nice. Spotted another species of snake for the night. Uh, let me get over to it before it disappears. Over here we have Lycodon davisoni, the Davidson's aka Blanford's bridal snake. A small species which is now in the genus Lycodon, but I don't really believe that it should be, and it used to actually be in its own genus, which was Dryocalamus. Uh, Lycodon are, as you know, all of the wolf snakes, and these don't really fit in there, to be honest, uh, because they, unlike all of the wolf snakes, these guys feed exclusively, as far as I know, on gecko and I think also small bird eggs, um, which is very atypical for a wolf snake to do. And also, if you just look at the body proportions and features, you can see that despite one similarity being the black and white banding, other than that, they're actually not similar at all. Even the head is, like, totally different. And he's trying to bite me. Sometimes these little dudes do bite. Of course, non-venomous, though. Neat. All right, we've begun our way back, as it is getting quite late and we're very tired and sweaty, but just spotted another little tiny newborn Kuiburi Pit Viper, around the same size as the last, which I assume also only a few days old, but that thing is minuscule. So cute. I'm gonna just leave him, though. Oh, <laughs> oh,